Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to talk about how to create a graph. And the primary focus is going to be on the types of graphs, what types of graphs these are, giving you kind of an example, and also what is a graph. Okay, types of graphs. Uh, I'm going to start off by simply telling you that there are a lot of graphs that are out there being used, and depending on what your career field may be in the future, uh, will also dictate exactly what type of graph or graphs that you will use more frequently. Uh, the ones that you're going to be using more frequently this year in eighth grade science are going to be the three that are in bold. Uh, this would be bar graphs, this would be line graphs, and then also pie charts or some people like to call them circle graphs. There are two that you're going to use uh, potentially uh, when you get into math class uh, later on this year and that would be pictographs and scatter plots. These are also used in science but uh, you tend not to see these all that frequently. Pictographs you see more in science than you do scatter plots um, until you get into some higher level science. But for the most part, the ones that are in bold uh, are going to be the ones that you're going to use more often this year than not. What you see currently in front of you uh, on your notes are five graphs. Those five graphs, um, I would like you to use as kind of a, a simple review to see where you're at re regarding graph types. So what I'd like for you to do is hit the pause button. And I would like you to figure out what type of graph each of these are. Is it a line graph, bar graph, pictograph, scatter plot, or maybe one that's not even listed. But just simply where it says in your notes, graph type, just write down what graph type it is. So when you're ready, you want to check your answers, go ahead, unpause. So here are your answers. Okay, and it may not go in the exact same order that you see. Uh, so just for your reference, the candy is the first graph, pictograph is the second graph, this is the third graph, hours worked is the fourth graph, and then trees in the park is number five. Should you have any questions, you may not understand how to, how to look at these and maybe you got these wrong, please see Mr. Fusek or myself. Otherwise, uh, we'll think that this was just kind of a quick, short review for you and uh, we'll move forward. Okay, so to begin, what is a graph? Uh, this is a question that gets asked quite a bit, but I will tell you that from here until you basically graduate high school, graphing is going to be a huge part of what you do in science. Not only creating, but also looking at and interpreting. So a graph is really simply a picture of your data. It's a picture that is simply constructed to give you a short little story about what your data that has been collected or data that has been collected for you uh, through different types of experiments. What the graph should tell you is what was learned from the collection. So for example, if you're looking at, and I'll give you some examples here. I'm going to go right out to the internet, and I'm going to look at a bar graph, for example. When you look at, say for example, here, you see sales by quarter as the title, and it says down at the bottom, year 2004, and then values. All right? Now that's what you're going to have to try to, as you're going through this, you're going to have to look at and interpret this. Now, what would you think that this graph is trying to tell you? If it were me and I'm looking at this graph, I would say, all right, this is a breakdown in the year 2004 about how much money was made each quarter. So if you're looking at quarters, the year is 12 months long, break it into quarters. So 12 divided by four would give you every three months. This is how much money was made on each product. You'll see over here. Here are the product types. Green is Z, and then this kind of turquoise is Y, and then the orange color is product X. So this is giving you a breakdown of you know, how much money was made by each of those products. Let's look at a line graph, for example. Not a good example, because there's no line there. 
Let's try this one. So when this comes up, what is this actually telling you? As you're looking at it and trying to figure out exactly what it's trying to, uh, to give you a, a story of. And as it loads, you'll see that this right across the top says temperatures in New York City. And then we'll also give you the ability to look at degrees Fahrenheit and then on which day uh, was the temperature actually recorded. So if I were me looking at this graph, I would say, all right, this is a way in which the temperature was collected in New York City in degrees Fahrenheit and this is a breakdown over the course of six days. So again, this is just a quick little story about the information that has been collected. Okay? And that's what a graph is.